The Season 3 Battle Pass is now live, and this is a Snoop Dogg collaboration pass with a Snoop Dogg dog finisher, a finger pistol finisher, a wolf operator, 20 blueprints, including one with bug tracers. So in this video, let's show off everything that comes in the normal Battle Pass, including the final Tier 100 rewards. And if you want to see a Black Cell Season 3 Battle Pass review, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. But with that, let's roll right in. If you buy the normal version of the Battle Pass, you're instantly going to unlock two different operators. The first one being Snoop Dogg, which is his own operator. So yes, he does have voice lines on top of this if you didn't buy the original snoop dog bundle back in modern warfare 2 you're also going to unlock the snoop puzzle finishing move here's some of the voice lines you can hear while playing as snoop dog this one met their maker careful youngin it's gonna blow i'm low on ammo cuh oh man stop the cat check fire homie i need those do double g tags move cuz i got the wheel wipe from the history books hit that good stuff Visual on targets, RPG. I stay out of that hood. Need large cow rounds. Now you know you can't keep a gangster down. Snoop D-O-double-G redeploy. Straight cash here, homie. She. You gotta do better than that. Then for the other operator you unlock instantly, this being Makarov. If you didn't buy the Vault Edition and you didn't buy the Makarov bundle, you're not gonna have him as an operator. So buying this battle pass is gonna be another opportunity to get him. He does have his own voice lines. He also comes with the hostile precision finishing move. Here's a snippet of the voice lines you can hear while playing as Makarov. Oh, bring it. Ether Shroud is up. All it takes is the will of one great man. Already scavenged. Ammo's almost dry. Better than ever. Time to go to work. Changing mech. Check your fire or my next bullet goes in your head. Come and get me. Your death would be a waste. Die a better death than this. Enemy spotted. Corpse expired. You are still useful to me. Someone of your talent belongs at my side. Then as you level up the battle pass, there's nine different operator skins you're able to unlock, two of them being brand new operators. There's the Corsair skin for Ripper, which looks kind of basic. The Scalpel skin for Riptide, which looks like a bunch of different skins already in the game. A skin for Swagger with full arm sleeve tattoos, and it looks like he works for some sort of agency. A Cardinal skin for Doc, which is kind of basic, but at least she has a cape. A Cast skin for Corso, which is a Coney Milsim design. The Saboteur skin for Byline, she's got some mechanical thing on her back and a controller on her side. Oh, it's a, it's a drone. And then and that's the controller for the drone. Okay. Okay. Then we have our actual first new operator, this being Banshee. Unfortunately, doesn't come with a finishing move. The skin itself's okay. It's another Milsim design. Then when you max out the battle pass and unlock every tier, you're going to get two different operator skins. The first one being a brand new operator, this being Hush. Uh, unfortunately, does not come with a finishing move. Uh, once again, more of a Milsim-like design. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now for what's, in my opinion, the single best operator you unlock from the normal battle pass, the tier 100 Makarov skin. Um, and, and yes, that is, that, that is a wolf. It is a, um, a Milsim looking operator, uh, with a wolf head with glowing red eyes with, uh, its mouth open with sharp teeth that is, um, got saliva dripping out of it. The back of it also has a fur cape. Uh, very interesting. Underneath this, it's still Makarov. So it's got Makarov's finishing move and it's got his voice lines. But I, th I think a lot of people are going to agree with me. The tier 100 skin for the basic battle pass is just clearly the best one. There's 20 different blueprints you're able to earn with the default version of the battle pass. The first one you get instantly when you buy the battle pass, this being the hope breaker for the Bass B. It's got the outlaw aftermarket part on it. It's also got the Jack BFB. Then as you level up the battle pass and progress through tiers, you're slowly going to unlock the other 19 blueprints. All of these blueprints follow one of four similar designs. There's a black topographic pattern. There's a yellow rune pattern. There's a koi fish pattern. Then there's also a Coney blueprint pattern. And for some reason, one of these blueprints randomly has tracers. There's a Lockwood 300 blueprint, a Soul Render blueprint, attack eradicator blueprint, a DG58 LSW blueprint, a blueprint for the SOA subverter, the TYR, the SVA 545, the Holger 556, the Lockwood 680, the SPR 208, the Bass B, the BP50, Cat AMR, HMR9, uh, the Pulmiot 762, then both of the new DLC weapons, the more sniper rifle and the FGX Oris submachine gun. Uh, and for some reason, there's also Attack of Evolver blueprint. And if you hover over in the battle pass menu, it says it comes with cold tracers. And if you load into the firing range, yes, it actually has the cold tracers from an old Modern Warfare 2 bundle. But then if you take it into an actual match, that's not the firing range. Uh, the tracers aren't there. So I assume this is a bug and I don't think they meant to slap these on here. And I'm not sure these tracers are ever actually going to work in a match. They're probably just going to work in the firing range. Then finally, when you max up the battle pass and get it to tier 100, you unlock the faded MTZ 762 blueprint. Uh, and this is what it looks like. And no, doesn't have tracers on it. The only blueprint out of all of these that had tracers 
was the attack of Alvarie, and I think that one's bugged. Now for my favorite part, here's all the finishing moves that come in this battle pass, including the brand new ones and the ones you get for getting the default Snoop Dogg and Makarov operators. Starting off with Makarov, and by default, when you unlock Makarov, you also get the hostile precision finishing move. First, we got the standing version. Like most, you lacked conviction. If I remember properly, that that's his only finishing move voice line. So we're going to hear that quite a bit. And no, that death effect was because of the blueprint we had. It's not because of the finishing move. This uses AR. So any AR you have, it's actually going to use that death effect in the finishing move if you equip it. All right, prone version. A pitiful death for a pitiful life. Oh, actually, he does have different voice lines for finishers. Last but not least, the down version. Like most, you lacked conviction. Like most, you lacked conviction. And see, that's what happens if we don't use a tracer blueprint. It just shoots him normally. And then his body just sits there. Now for the default Snoop Dogg Operator finishing move, Snoop Puzzle. And weirdly enough, this finishing move is special. It's got Snoop Dogg's name above it. And what this means is this finishing move is actually locked to Snoop Dogg. No other finishing move in the entire game is locked down to an operator. But uh, if you unlock the Snoop Puzzle finishing move, it can only be equipped on Snoop Dogg. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. It probably has something to do with copyright. But even the 21 Savage and the Nicki Minaj, those can be used on everyone, uh, just not this one specifically. Standing. Smoke his ass if you got it. So it's one of the finishers that plays music during the execution. We've taken the lead. Into the road for your sorry ass. Ooh, the back shot. And downed. Into the road for your sorry ass. Right in the neck. Right in the neck. Okay, now for the brand new finishing move starting with sidearm swap. Take that as a lesson. Uh, was she supposed to pull out a pistol or was it supposed to be a finger gun? You really got my goat there. Um, I don't know if that's intentional. I can't even tell what primary she's using. What primary is that? What primary does she have? It The pistol, you can see the pistol when she does the first finishing move. All right, one more time and then we'll try the other version. But you can see the pistol in her hand. She's using it. Look. You really got my goat there. Uh, maybe it works with the prone version. Oh, finger gun. Take that as a lesson. You know, I think the finishing moves better this way. You really got my goat there. You really got my goat there. Yeah, uh, finishing move definitely bugged, but uh, I prefer it this way. Maybe the down version will work properly. What? Take that as a lesson. <laughs> um, no. Turns out the down version's even more bugged. You slap them with a. You really got my goat there. I love it. Please don't fix. Please don't fix. Okay, now we've got a class with a pistol. Does this affect it? No. All right, so now we've got a more normal pistol. No, still finger gun. But but like I was saying, uh, pl please don't fix. Please leave as is. I I, I like I like the finger gun. I, I like it a lot. Now for the final finishing move that comes in the default battle pass, and this is the one you unlock instantly: the tactical pet D O double G. And yes, it's a dog skin that is a uh, Snoop Dogg. So yeah, another Snoop Dogg finishing move, but this one isn't exclusive and can be used on any operator. And we should get a tactical pet in the menu. Yeah, we got the Snoop Dogg dog. All right, fingers crossed. I really hope this pet dog finishing move isn't an exact animation copy like the other three dog finishing moves in the game. Gotta do better than that. Nope. Turns out it's it's exactly the same. So there's like four other dog pet finishing moves in the game, and they all do this. You call on the dog, they bite the arm, they disappear. Smoke his ass if you got it. But but hey, this time it's a it's a Snoop Dogg dog. D-O double dog G. <laughs> Alright, and then just for completionist sake, here's the down version. Into the road for your sorry ass. Woo, we haven't seen that a million times in the past. It's not that I hate these pet finishing moves. I just wish they weren't all the exact same. Like every dog finisher is the exact same thing. The only thing that changes is how the dog looks. Besides that, it's 
they just like the other four versions. So I wouldn't mind more of these if they actually did something slightly different. At least bite the other arm or bite a leg. Just, just some, something different. Now, while there is more stuff that comes in a battle pass besides operator skins, blueprints, and finishing moves, the rest of the stuff I don't think that many people care about. I mean, there's large decals, there's emblems, there's calling cards, there's emblems, uh, there's XP tokens, there's battle pass XP tokens, but for the most part, I don't think people care about this too much. Yes, there's also COD points, you get some COD points back, but uh, scrolling through these really quickly, you can see the rest of the items are just kind of filler. I mean, bullets to spare, that's kind of cool as a charm, but am I going to use it? Probably not. There's a Shadow Blast ammo mod. There's a Speed Cola can if you're a Zombies player. A Radio Chatter charm. A Pocket Knife charm. Uh, like I said, the rest of this stuff. I mean, we'll scroll through it really quick to see something cool. A Do Not Handle charm, which is just a smoke grenade. There's a vehicle skin, but it's it's a red Konai vehicle skin. Nothing crazy. First rounds on me. That's kind of cool. Probably not going to end up using it. Some more stickers. A ray gun case, which if you've got the schematic, you get one of these every 48 hours already. Um, kind of cool looking sticker. A die, die, die charm, which is a die. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So overall, I don't think the base version of the season three battle pass is terrible, but I don't think it's as good as the previous seasons. Last season's base battle pass, where you got Rick Grimes, his finishing move, and I think you got like five other brand new finishing moves. That battle pass was way more worth it in my opinion. And I just don't think this battle pass is as strong as the ones we've seen previously. Now that might be different when we start to review the Black Cell skins. And if you want to see a video where we cover all the Black Cell operators, the finishing moves, the blueprints and the tracers, make sure to unlock that subscribe button because we'll have a video out on that soon. But when it comes to the base version, it's just kind of mad this time around. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace. Lego unlocked. He's Lego unlocked going to unlock all these camels.